We're back in the forest, and the first night has fallen. I really like what they've done with the graphical optimizations. You can really see it in the sun. Where is that sun? You can see the nice little orange right there reflecting off the water. It's a wonderful look to what they've done. It also feels like the game is much brighter. It gets darker a lot quicker. I'm not sure if they offset the way the lighting system works and all, and with day and night cycles, because right now, <laughs> It's a lot darker than it normally is. At least it feels like that. So, not even close to finishing the fort, but I did build what in any survival situation is a must, and that is a hidey corner where I can hide and not have to worry about being slaughtered. I also tried to build something where I could jump right into the airplane because it's always a good idea to get into a little safe place where you can jump on. You'll be safe forever. It looks like that's a cannibal right over there. I don't think he can see me over here. Now, I don't know if they patched this in the... Uh, whatever update this may be. But it seemed beforehand that the cannibals were completely unable to get into log cabins. So, I don't know if that is still the case or not. I'd like to think so. But, either way, I'm just going to sit on my bench. The complete wrong way, of course. This is, of course, the way you massage yourself with a fireplace. You just have to post yourself right next to it and allow the fire to creep up your spine. I'd recommend it for any type of injury at any age for any amount of time. Looks like they've come to size up the base. Well, I'm ready for them. I know they won't do a thing. They see those walls and I don't think he sees me. He certainly does, but big man with candles on his shoulders doesn't. Oh. I, I don't... Oh, someone behind me? Nope, nope. Hello? Nope. How did they not see me? But he... Oh, yep, there they, there they go. Alright, it's go time. To the fort! Let me light the fire, because they are very prone to running into fire. Oh. It seems as though our neighbors are cowards. Yeah? Come on in. I dare you. Whoa, look at you! Get in here, boss. Come on, I'm ready for it. Ouch, 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 what the heck? And they're jumping over the wall. But they didn't catch on fire. I knew they would catch on fire. They are, once again, very prone to that. See, that is why you always have to put up the trap fire. They won't even see it, and they'll be dead before you know it. Look at that. And that, my friends, is the most effective method of killing a cannibal. Wow. I had no idea that they would try and take me on in a myriad of troubles. What in the world is going on here? Although they did make it a whole lot easier to build an effigy. Let's see here, what should I build? A large effigy, a simple effigy, small effigy, or an arm effigy? Oh, do we have more friends? Hmm, come on in. I dare you, let me light up the war fire. I, I think he's right there. Oh. There's another couple with... Oh my, look at you guys. Come on in, madam. Come on in. Wow, I didn't even hit you, but hey, I will take it. Hit detection is pretty good here. I just set myself on fire. The war fire is, of course, very successful. Even to its owner. Alright, this is pretty bad. Oh, I guess I'm fine now. Look at that. A-okay, just a little blood on my tummy-tum as my arm phases through it. You know, there's only one thing that can make a fight better. And that's cooking. Oh, I deleted my log cabin. Hmm. Maybe the remove blueprints and cook things should not be both mapped to C. I don't know. Here, let me, let me, oh, look at you. Do you not even have a loincloth on? Oh my goodness. Some indecent exposure, if I can't even speak. Indecent, indecent exposure. Kind of like the way I said that, indecent. Emphasis on the C. Like that lady. Come on in. I'll teach you the ways of the English language. Or maybe your boyfriend doesn't like that. Well, listen up, buddy. I'm making... Whoa, look at that! She's doing some pole vaulting over here, hopping over the suitcases. What in the world? Let me pick you a flower. I think you'd like it. Oh. She wanted to show me the posterior region. I accept... Oh, nope, nope, you, yep, uh, she ran into a booty trap. And, oh my goodness. She is a fighter, but I like that. Come on in, I'm gonna beat you with a rock. Wait, let me make my, uh, signature. Oh, oh my goodness. She lagged for a moment. Give me a second to recoup. 
<gasps> Why are there so many people coming around here? There are so many of them right now. I want to pull out my axe. There we go. I think they're giving it a rest right now, but my health is extremely low. Here, there's only one way that I could possibly make this better. It's with the dong hitter. Or something. No, oh, let me cook this. There we go. Oh, I just set a bird on fire. Get wrecked. All your feathers will flow. Now, I don't know if any of them drop rope, which is the only component I need left for the bow and arrow. But they are definitely taking advantage of me in my infantile state right here. Maybe they need to know what I'm capable of. Yeah, what do you think about that? The war buttocks looking rather polygonal today. As they should be. Means it's very healthy. Look at that. I really do want them to make buttocks a thing you can carry around. I would no doubt always carry a signature pair of butts on me. Because that's just my style. Now, once I finish that wall, they're going to be out of luck when they attempt to run on through. I can see them right now. Look at you. Here. Would you like Tony Head? Let me show you Tony Head. Oh, you don't like me picking up Tony Head, do you? Or Jeffrey Legs. Hmm, well, looks like you're just gonna have to go. Whoa, look at you. Oh, is that a present? No, oh, he brought me a present. What's on in here? Oh, wow. Whoa, my goodness. It was a bomb, but it didn't detonate. That'll show you cannibals are trying to make an improv bomb. Speaking of improv bombs, let me grab the components to make my own bomb. All I need are coins now, and I can make a makeshift explosive. Do I have any coins? Got teeth. Never run out of teeth. That's always a necessity if you want to become a dentist. Oh, a tennis ball? Maybe I can play fetch with them. Goodness gracious. I think it just turned into a star. I don't even... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't infinitely bounce anymore. That's disappointing. Well, I probably should get back to work here and put back my log cabin. That was disappointing. Let's just put that right back before I catch myself on fire. Look at that. It's like a... Oh! Hey! Hey! Get out of here. Who's here? Here, I need to pull out the big club. I use this on boyfriends. Where are you at? Oh, I can hear him. Oh, is that her? Oh, she's back again. I told you she'd be back. The girls can't resist. Let me see if the club works. I need to try it on on a rabbit first. Come on. Oh, how you doing, Tony Head? Tony Head's just watching as the horrors go down. Let's see here. Oh, look at you. All right, let's try it. I like how it makes a, a skewer sound, but it's obviously a... Oh, I'm sorry. I was mesmerized by the breasts. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's just get to work. Madam, I think you've had enough. I will... What the heck? What happened to your midsection? I don't even think this is a correct character model. I mean, like, what, what kind of body part is that? I, I don't even... It's like... I'm really confused right now. Madam, you have a messed up body. But don't worry, I'm going to nurture you. Here, come on. It's okay. Just pretend you're an egg. Yeah. You're gonna be okay. You don't even have hair. Yeah, it's okay. Well, oh, oh, she is back on the... Nope, back on the grind. Oh my goodness, I was one with the butt. We are one with one another. No! Come on, I nurtured you. Oh. She shapeshifted. She was a wizard, not a suitor. There's only one way to deal with these kind of people. And mandatory clubbing. Ugh. Whoa, it just came out. A rock came out. Ugh. What else came out? Buttocks and a bunch of body parts. I'm telling you, this game just keeps getting better and better with what it throws at you. Whoa! Hey there, hey there, what's going on here? What is this? Don't die! <clears throat> oh, what the heck? Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> hey. I think I'm some sort of champion. I discovered warp drive. Goodness gracious, what happened? I picked something up next to this bomb suitcase and it just detonated. Is that a... Is that a Statue of Liberty thing just on a bunch of cloth? Not a very efficient packer if you ask me. Now, of course, it's always important to stay nourished and have plenty of sleep. So I made this robust, nice little headrest for Tony Head because his complexion will suffer should he not be amply rest every day. 
Where, where's Tony Head? There's Tony Head. Let me see if I can't just set him on in here. <laughs> All right, come on now, Tony Head. Gotta, gotta get in there. Not over there. Oh, goodness gracious. I did build a couple of Tony Head structures out here. Because Tony Head has to be immortalized forever. Look at this. Or memorized. Not memorized. Well, well, what is the word? When you try and make somebody immortal. Immortalized. Perhaps it's that. Look at that. Tony Head is on par. Let's just take a good look at this. Let's not have any arms. Let's just take out a rock and admire Tony Head and all he's given us. All right. Now the grind starts again to build up the log cabin. I do have plenty of food, though. The only unfortunate part of this is there's just a bunch of body parts scattered all around my house. I don't know what the cops will think about this, but I think I'll I think I'll be able to get out of it, like I have before, of course. All right, Let's just slam this down. That will be ready to go. All right, the big wall is finished. So now we have two corners guarded by Tony Head. Doesn't seem as though you're able to reignite these effigies, which is a bit disappointing because I've always wanted Tony Head to flame on forever but you know that's a problem so I'll probably finish the log cabin some other time but right now I want to do some exploring and I also oh, that bird just <laughs> stupid bird you don't understand that's not how you fly about I don't understand how they manage it's just such a small fire also got to cook up some legs too now I want to find some rope so I can make ourselves a nice bow and arrow. And I believe to make arrows it's just stick, sticks and feathers, but I don't know if I have any feathers right now. I have the one cloth to make it, but let me see if I grab a feather. If, where is a feather? I know a bird just died right around here. There's got to be a feather somewhere. Guess not. Anyways, we're going to attempt to go find a cannibal village because added in in the update were nooses, and the nooses at the cannibal villages, they have, you're able to take the rope down and use it for a bow and arrow. So after I'm done eating up, we'll go and explore the land. Looks like we're at the base of a cannibal cave right here. Usually when they have a base somewhere, they set up a bunch of effigies all around it, and then when they find out where you are, they'll put a couple smaller effigies near nearest you. So for whatever reason, they always like putting out effigies. I don't know why. Maybe they... Oh, look at that. It's like a burlap sack full of skulls. Well done. This is some artisanship if I've ever seen it myself. Now, I don't see a cannibal cave or a cannibal area around here anywhere. I do hear some cannibals, though. Nice little camera. Oh, are those some goggles? I don't know. It's just scrapes of air. Okay. I will compliment you on that. But I don't believe I've ever been to this section of the map before. Usually I hang around the coast because it's easier to defend a place where they're not usually coming out of the water. I say usually because they have come out of the water at me before, but if I follow the coastline, I do think I'll have come around to my beach at some point. Look at that. Nice little tear in the world. There's something out there right now. I have no idea what that is. It looks so strange. What is that? Oh well. It's probably something special, I'm sure. I'll find it eventually. I'll have to swim out there and grab it and tell it to quit mucking around. Let's see what we got here. Massive willow. Oh, I think this is the beach. Yeah. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio. He and all of his Swedish friends are having fun on the beach. Then I come around with my ex and tell him to cut it out. Oh, I think we found ourselves a nice little camp here. Nestled right in Shrek Swamp, of course. Oh. Oh, there's a creepy little ambience about this now. Or ambiance. Got some smoldered bodies. Whoa, yeah, they really tried to do the ambience here. Let's see this. Yep, I think this is the rope right here. To make what we need. Looks like they hung you too low. And you phase through the world. Let's see here. I think this is how you do it. Let's see a stick. A rope and some cloth. Yep, there we go. We've got a bow. Now for an arrow, we need a stick and some feathers. So let's get out of here before this music draws on too long. There's a stick. Let me compliment you on that. And I guess we'll get on out of here because that is far too eerie for me. Way too spooky. All right, let's see here. 
stick and where do the feathers go there's feathers around here somewhere got some aloe vera oh boy if i ever get burned i can put that on oh there they are let's see i think it's four feathers it must be five feathers let me see if i can't find one more bird in the meantime there's always a bunch of birds around except when you actually need them where's the birdies i'm sure there'll be one that just flies on about and we'll say hello there and then he will be on his way now, I do believe there's a boat over there in that direction where there's a tape recorder on it, and it plays this cool song. But I'm not going to grab it because there's too much songing going on now. With a, I have too many feels that linger from that camp back there. I can't listen to music for a little while. Just gotta play it cool. Gotta get back to Fort Freedom, or whatever I decide to call it. Then it's going to be Lumberjack Outpost 1, free pancakes on Fridays. Yep, I think I can see it right there. Fantastic. I do absolutely love what they've done with the lighting. It's a lot more realistic with the way the glare works across different subject matters. Like, for example, you can see on the tree how you can see the blue aurora around it with just the white presence of the sun. And then the sun, how it reacts with the objects, with the leaves and all. Absolutely love that. Super cool. Now let's see if I can find a birdie. Jeez, come on. Birdies always hang out around here. Maybe it's because I haven't built my house yet. They always like to land on top of my house. Come on, sick. Let me just pull out my... I need one more. That's the worst part. Let's just pull this out. Oh, look at that. Ding. <laughs> it makes a little ding. That's, that's cool. I like that. Let's, see what it, let's take a look at this. It's got a nice little string. Wow. Fantastic. Oh, there's one. Hang on. Hang on. Where are you at? Gotta hit him with a stick. It's only appropriate. Where did he go? Oh. Oh, there he is. Come on now, Mr. Bird. Oh, oh, where, where, where's he landing? He's coming in for a landing somewhere. And when he does, he's gonna get clubbed. Oh, there he is. Hang on. Oh, there's one. Here they are. Here they are. Hey, get over here. Oh, did I get it? There we go. Change came out. Come on now. There we go. I love how change came out. That's the best. Let's throw a rock at our wall. Phases right through, as expected. Alright, now we just need to put another feather. There we go. Now we have some arrows. Now, I was told that if I shoot a suitcase with an arrow, something incredible will happen. So let's find out. Oh, that's not incredible. They lied to me. Let's try it again. Okay. Maybe I need to open the suitcase first. Now. It opens the wrong way, too. Oh, I can pick up arrows once I'm done with them. That's fantastic. I, I was really hoping for that. Let's try this again. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! Hole! Oh. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. It's being drugged away by the arrow. <laughs> He's being taken hostage. Here, let's get another one going quick fly free oh my goodness where's it going oh speedy gonzalez <sighs> well that'll do it for this time thank you all for watching next time we'll finish up the house and start up some mlg gardening <laughs>